This is update number 14 for my end scale layout. And this seemed to be a week of doing a lot of details. Some of the details are visible and some of them aren't. So I'm going to talk first about the details that aren't visible. I went through my box cars and found three more that have body mounted couplers and put them on the layout and they seem to run quite a bit better behind the longer locomotives. And I do have enough couplers to convert three or four more boxcars to body mounted couplers. So I will eventually do that and then I should have enough boxcars to service the industries on the layout. I also put metal wheels on almost all of the cars on the layout right now. Um, people who know more than I do believe that metal wheels run better and that they uh, pick up less dirt. So eventually all of the cars that spend a substantial amount of time on the layout will end up having metal wheels. I do still have some issues with the track. One of those is right here where the track crosses the road. It gets a little bit sharper in the curve right there and that causes some derailments. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do about that yet. I thought of a couple of possible options, neither of which I've liked very much, so I'm still thinking about that. Other than that, the other area which I discovered was a problem was at the other end of the layout down here. And unfortunately, it is also where the road crosses the layout. There was the same problem. Basically, the curve was just a little bit too sharp right there at the road. So what I did on this one is I cut off a little bit of the road here and just moved the track in about a sixteenth of an inch. And that seems to have eased that problem significantly. I'm hoping that that will not be a problem anymore. Now, other than that, some of the details that I've added on the layout, I'm not sure if you can see it right there. There's a couple of spots of ground foam, which is uh, supposed to simulate bushes on the layout. I've added that those bushes at a variety of spots around the layout just to uh, make the landscaping look a little more interesting and, variety and varied. On the uh, oil depot, when I was going through and looking for boxcars with body mounted couplers, I found two more oil tankers that are only 39 feet long. Um, and they run a lot better on the layout and they uh, don't have the derailments that the longer tank coupler, tankers use. So I will be using them and hopefully get a few more of them eventually. Um, but they are a good addition to the layout. Also, on the uh, oil depot, you may notice that I've added a chimney to the office building. I thought they might like some heat in the winter. And uh, also, once I added the chimney, it occurred to me that the bathroom would also need a vent so that little object on the left hand side of the roof is a vent for the bathroom. Also, if you look closely, you can see that I've added an outlet pipe to those two tanks. Uh, oil depots and oil refineries tend to have a lot of underground piping and this one will be no different. Um, and at the other end of the layout, I've added a small grove of trees right here and I've also added a bunch of end of track bumpers to the layout. I did find that several weeks ago one of the end of track bumpers was creating a short on the layout so I had to make sure that they are electrically isolated from the track and I won't have that problem. Other than that uh, you can see on the come and go that I've added a heating and cooling unit to the roof and some additional ductwork and also, on the uh, left-hand side of the building, that uh, blue object is a mailbox. And on the right-hand side of the building, the green object is a trash can. So that 
makes that building a little bit more realistic. Other than that, uh, I've added a shed right here, and I don't think there's a whole lot more. Um, although, as you can see, there is a road crew there doing some work on the street. Um, there's a guy there in the front directing traffic. It looks like they're just about done putting out the cones. And there's a guy with a jackhammer and a white hard hat. And the guy in the center has a pickaxe. And the guy on the right, you probably can't see it, but he's drinking a pop. Um, apparently, he needed to go to the come and go to get something to drink before he started work. And if you notice on the corner of the come and go, there's already one bystander there who's uh, trying to see what's going on. Also, uh, you may notice that I uh, finished rebuilding the loading dock and it's back in place uh, with a forklift so that will be available to assist people from the town loading the boxcars. Now I'm going to try to run this train into the siding. Let's see that it can get in there. And one of the things that I discovered when I was doing some of the track work is that I have a challenger which will now hopefully make it around the track. sure what the problem is here we'll have to see okay should be good to go now one of the things that I've discovered is that I still do have some high and low spots on the track and that causes the challenger to hesitate on occasion. You may notice that as it's going around. So I still got some work. I fixed one of those spots but I still got two or three more that I'm going to have to figure out where exactly the high or low spot is and uh, how I'm going to fix it. Unfortunately, I forgot to change a switch back there. Oh, let a little back out. See if we can change that switch, get it to run around the track. I tried some passenger cars on this layout and they just seemed to be too long to really run unfortunately. They won't make it around the curves. Um, unless I get some shorty excursion cars, which I may do at some point. But right now it won't be possible to have any passenger cars on the track. As you can see this or here, I guess I should say, this is a nice looking and a nice sounding locomotive, so even if I can only pull freight cars behind it, I'm still going to enjoy uh, running it around. One other thing I want to show you, these two cars right here that are central Wyoming cars are 
a little bit different than all the other cars on the layout. And uh, next week I will talk about that, so if you're interested in mysteries, you might want to think about what's different about those two cars. Uh, I will talk in more detail about them later. And you can see there's a locomotive going around. It's really running pretty nice. And that's about it for the update this week.